everybody. My name is Jackie Kunkel. You are on Canton Village Quilt Works YouTube channel and welcome in. Today I'm going to be sharing with you my eyeglass case tutorial. This great little eyeglass case doubles as a scissors, rotary cutter, and a gift bag, if you will. Super simple to make. You can make it in lots of fun and funky fabrics and it will literally hold your eyeglasses, a rotary cutter, scissors, really anything you want. Gift them up, super simple to make, does not take long at all. You choose some funky fabrics and come on, let's see how these are made. These fast, fun little eyeglass cases consist of just two fabrics and they really can hold anything, rotary cutter, scissors, eyeglasses, and even a little gift if you like. So let's learn how to make these. First, you will need some supplies. You'll need a neutral thread and a thread to contrast some pins, a rotary cutter, a pencil, a purple thang for turning, or a blunt object. You will also need a piece of paper cut out to eight and a half inches square, two pieces of fabric, and some fusible pellon fleece or batting or some other interfacing. Mark your eight and a half inch square at four inches halfway through the middle and then at four and a half inches on the right hand side using a curved edge ruler or dish mark your slope then cut with the rotary cutter either freehand or along the edge of that ruler or dish or round edge then you will take your two pieces of fabric you will layer them right sides together place the template on the top then you will cut along the straight edges. The strips of fabric should be at least eight inches wide, if not a little longer. Lay your ruler on, cut those straight edges, then cut that curve either freehand or using your sloped ruler that you have, your curved ruler, and cut that curve. Once that is complete, you will have your two pieces of fabric ready to go. Now you will need to cut your fleece. One of the sides of the fleece is sticky because it will fuse to the fabric. We are gonna cut in the same manner that we cut our fabrics using your ruler for the straight edges and your ruler for the curved edge as well. But I also trim down just a little bit on the straight edge sides of the template. It just makes it a little bit easier to sew when you bring it to the sewing machine. Now, I will put the sticky side, if you will, face down to the fabric, and then I will pin all three layers with the fabrics right sides together. At the bottom of this, you'll pin a wide opening because you will start sewing to leave that opening for us to turn the piece later. Get your neutral thread and let's start sewing. Here at the bottom, I start sewing in and I'm sewing in a little less than a half an inch seam allowance. Not a quarter inch and not quite a half inch, just a little bit more than that more than a quarter inch. So all the way around with a 2.0 stitch and your neutral thread, leaving that opening at the bottom of your piece. Now, once you're done sewing, we are going to trim away the fleece or interfacing or batting that you've used all the way to the seam that you just sewed. Trim close, but be careful not to trim at the, the stitch line. We don't want to trim through that. Trim all the way to the bottom, 
and then we will trim the opening as well because we just need that fabric to lay flat when we turn this inside out. You will see what I mean in just a minute. Now we are ready to take it to the sewing machine, but first clip those corners, careful not to trim the edge. Also fuse down the fleece to the one side that it's on, pressing all the seams open. Now we're ready to turn it inside out. I'm using my purple thang and the blunt edge or the curved edge of the purple thang to get in there at the corners and push everything out so the seams will lay nice and flat before we take it back to the ironing surface to press it again. Press again flat, that will also reinforce the fused fleece or interfacing. Now we are going to top stitch. We are top stitching approximately 1 8 of an inch in. And yes, I am back stitching at the opening where we left it at the bottom. So I will back stitch at the front and the end of it. Careful to match up at the end. Now that we are done with that, we are going to trim the threads. We will fold the case in half, careful to match our seams. And I'm just going to put two pins in. This is where we need to be careful to sew right over top of the stitch line that we already made. And we will back stitch at the beginning and the end. Now our case is complete. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I hope you have all enjoyed this tutorial on making this eyeglass, scissors, rotary cutter, gift wrapper case. If you did enjoy this video, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and click the bell for notifications so that you will be notified when I upload new tutorials and videos. I would love to see your little eyeglass cases when you get yours done, so definitely send me a picture. Hope you enjoyed it. Have fun and happy sewing and quilting, everybody.